All right, guys, I'm gonna go to the gym pretty soon, but I have to show Toast some love right now. Also, I don't know, do I really, I don't really talk about Toasty on my channel just because he's like, he's my baby. But, he, um, I really don't show him on my channel, not because I don't love him, because I obviously love him. It's just like, he's just so cute, you guys. Like, he's just a big ball of fluff. <sighs> and it gets stuck to my mouth. All right guys, so I just pulled up to the gym. We about to go get it in. We're about to go work out. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna try and film it. It's a shoulder and back day. So I'm really trying to hit a flat. I don't do as many exercises as people think and I stick with a lot of the same ones, but um, people think that you just need to like always be like changing it up. And if you're consistent, you see more results than like rather than changing things up also i don't have a water today so that's gonna be fun um but yeah with that being said we're gonna get up in the gym we're gonna go get some gains it's honestly pretty empty i know that for a fact like sundays are always like dead empty there's like no one there because like everyone's like taking a rest day um i'd rather take my rest day like a random day during the week and then just hit it on sunday so then like my whole week starts out nicely but and it's like I'm here at the gym anyway. All right guys, so I figured I would start my workout here. I'm mostly hitting shoulders and back, but first I warm up just to get a little bit of a pump and get the blood flowing and I just do some band work. Um, one thing I wanna explain is that I learned this from my prep coach. So he showed me this and this is something that a lot of people do right before they do posing, but I just do this to warm up because then you don't strain your shoulders. Um, there's a two different exercises. You saw the first one, it's the band pull-aparts and then um, these ones are the pull-ups, kind of, lateral raises. Um, and then you kind of do a stance that's alternated, so you can see that your feet are a little bit apart. Um, and if anyone's wondering, my leggings are from Lulu, my long sleeve is just from high school, and then the top that I'm about to show you guys that I'm wearing, I bought at Marshalls, and it's really cute. And then I just do a burnout for lateral fly raises whatever you want to call these but this is what I did for it it's just a burnout you just start from the smallest like weight and the lowest weight all the way up to the highest that you can personally do so I go up to 20 pounds I do five all the way up to 20 burnout and then go all the way back down that gives you a massive shoulder pump and this is not the best angle for you to see what I'm exactly doing but you guys kind of can get the gist of that so I just continue on with it and I'm just going to talk to you guys about life. So as you guys watch me do this, just realize this angle is not the best. So like you can't exactly see that my arms go completely straight but then they do have a little bit of a curve because my elbows hurt otherwise. Then I do lap pull downs. I try to keep my elbows tucked as much as possible but it's pretty hard for me because I'm really trying to flare them out and I just engage my lats. I've never seen so much definition when I'm doing a pull down until I filmed it and if you guys can tell I have been building my lats for a while and like I'm seeing a lot more progress with like the width and the length of them as well like they're not super long and I have my lower lats I need to keep working on but like they're getting wider and that's my goal and then I do some shoulder press and these are just dumbbell shoulder presses I currently do 20 pounds um, and then sometimes they like work it up a little higher, but like you figure out what works for you I just started doing these and I've seen a lot of progress with one of my friends who does hit shoulders a lot And she has like the nicest biggest arms I've ever seen um, I personally want mine to be a little bit more defined But what I need to do is build my shoulders up so in order to build them up I have to you know work them so I'm gonna try incorporating this and then I do that for a while and you guys can see that I'm doing that here another random thing is that like I've recently started wearing a lot of like cuter gym clothing and I don't know about you guys but gym clothing is so motivational. Then I like to do the pull downs again and this is just to keep my lats going because like pull downs are bay, they are life. But basically you just go really slow and hold it at the bottom a little bit and these I seen so many results with as well because like I didn't, I did pull downs before but like I didn't engage my lats the way that I do now and I see that they're getting bigger and then I stretch out in between reps so as you guys can see I like keep my head down I do not look up because that you know changes the way that your spine is and then I pull the opposite way with my wrists and my hands so it kind of like pulls different parts and then I hold and pull again hold and pull and then I switch to the back so if you guys can see my back here it's like 
definitely engaged. I really like the way this feels. I try to keep my elbows tucked as much as possible, but like I said before, you have to have a specific grip. And then I do the next exercise, which you guys can clearly see here. Um, you know, I'm filming this voiceover right now and I just, I can't even remember what these are called. So we're just gonna roll with whatever they're called. You guys know, but look at my foot placement. That changes things. If you put your feet a little bit more narrow, it helps. And then also I do lateral raises. And I think I'm using 20s right here, maybe 25s. Um, and then I just raise them. That helps with the delts that are, you know, the outer delts, the inner delts, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then I raise to the other side and I try really hard not to use momentum, but like it looks like I'm using momentum, but I pinky promise you guys, like I'm definitely engaging my, my belt there. Then I do some lap pull downs. I like to extend all the way to the bottom, kind of touch and like tap the floor and then pull all the way up and you can really feel these in your lats. This is actually the first lat exercise that I ever tried and before I used to use my biceps and that's actually how I built my biceps. So if you guys are wondering how like a really good compound movement that's going to build your arms and your back up, try this one, work your way up with um, weight and everything. My next goal is to hit 65 pounds on these, which weight's not a huge deal for me, but like it's fun. Then I stretched out again. I just like was, you know, trying to, trying to look cool in the gym. Then I did this all over again. And now I'm posing, so I'm just gonna talk to you guys about posing for a second. So personally for me, the reason that I pose is because Number one, I really want to compete eventually, but like I don't have, I'm I'm not as motivated to compete as I am to build my muscle for right now. So like I'm not ready to compete yet, but like the posing helps me kind of like look at my body, see my progress. Um, my body's changed a lot since I really showed you guys a workout and like kind of explained all that to you. But um, I hope that you guys see this, the difference between my prep series vlog versus me just working out to build muscle because I feel like my body's definitely changed um and then I don't know I've just been putting on so much muscle all right guys so I just finished my workout like you can see my butt right there but um anyways I just finished my workout I have a slight shoulder pump right now so I don't know if you guys can tell but like like my lats right now are pretty big kind of kind of not really I don't know and then like that. I feel really good right now though like, no matter what your goal is if you really want it you're gonna go out and get it but if you don't really want it you're not gonna go out and get it so uh, that's why I use like figure competing as like a motivator for me although like I don't know when I'm gonna do it I didn't set a timeline for it but it's motivating me because like every time I see progress I go out there and I get it you know and like if you want to see progress you should go out there and get it so like that's kind of like my, my, my mantra for you guys for today. But I finished my workout and now I'm going to go on foam roll upstairs. And then, yeah. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching another episode of My Fitness. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat. And uh, if you guys want to sign up for my mailing list, feel free to do that too. But with that being said, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.